Yo, Tech Lease, I'm Cobra, and I have the Asus ROG Phone 2. This is going to be a gaming, gaming coverage because you know what? I'm not a big mobile phone gamer. I'm a console gamer, but this phone has really, really, really changed my tune on console versus mobile gaming. This phone definitely, definitely has potential. I've been spending so much time gaming. And let me just start with some of the reasons why. Besides the 120 hertz frame rate, now um, that's not for every game. Some games, some apps, um, just navigating through the menus and, uh, and things like that. But when it is available, when it is enabled, it's amazing. Also, you see these front firing speakers beautiful sound and it does help out when I'm playing different games like when I play PUBG I can actually hear the direction in which the bullets are being fired so they sound loud nice plenty of bass you will see also if you scroll over to the left here's a quick panel with suggested apps and you can see all the games I've been playing also the performance panel remaining usage time CPU temperature RAM and right now I have X mode enabled look at that look at that right um, so you could turn it off here you could turn it on and what that does is overclock the processor so that it will help the games even more so now we're gonna jump in I'm gonna show you guys right away um, this way I set it up these are the games that I've been playing that are 120 Hertz like I said not every game and as far as web browsing I've been using Opera but these are the games I went ahead and I looked up 120 Hertz games and even though it says it I had to play the game to find out if it truly was or not because some are optimized for like the Razer phone and they're not 120 Hertz on this device but most of them are 120 Hertz some of my favorites Hill Climb 2 and I love playing Dove Dash and also World of Goo but um also is alright but you know see your standard endless runner but I've been putting in some work in these games man I'm telling y'all right now also these are the other games I've been playing a lot of recently fell in love with PUBG Mobile oh my goodness there's Fortnite I might have a special guest come in and uh, play that for you I'm not a big fan of Fortnite but everybody says it's the same as PUBG it's not it's not um, Dead Effect 2 is pretty cool now these aren't 120 Hertz but I did hear that PUBG is in the process of becoming 120 Hertz and that's gonna be amazing so with no further ado I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the action now I want to start with PUBG because here's the main reason why now I love Call of Duty back in the day look at that right this is the 10 cent edition 8 gigabytes of RAM 128 gigabytes of storage so just showing you guys right off the bat all right so here's what I really love about the ROG phone too those air triggers I truly think those are a game changer for me as far as playing mobile games I've been able to aim faster shoot faster because I set it up how you want to set it up so if I scroll over here's my game genie you can access this in all the games you have to enable it in some games but there it is and it says right here 60 frames per second like I said this one is not at um, 120 but it is one of my favorite games lately X mode is on overclocked it, te it tells you all the information here and if you click on air triggers now it's enabled and notice how I have a setup here in the corner and I'm gonna show you why what I have done if I go to settings and close that out now this is a little harder to see if I go to settings and I go to controls and I go to customize what I did was I moved the power I move the firing and the aiming to the top so that way I can scroll freely so what I did so was with my air triggers I moved it up there you see that you can move these around you can move these around but I wanted it on left trigger to aim and right trigger to fire 
and you can customize the sensitivity of that as well and that way it wasn't down here where I could just look around real quickly I pretty much kept everything else the same right so if you close that out and you can move around in any game however you want those buttons to be on if I wanted the L trigger to be jumped I could do that too right game changer so I'm going to go ahead and back out of this and show you guys some of the gameplay just look at these graphics man look at these graphics now I'm recording this in 4k 60 and remember it's kind of hard playing from behind the camera but I'm doing my best just to show you guys a little bit of action now I did go into the settings a little bit and I did enable HDR for PUBG and also enabled a few other features to help it you know enhance the gameplay experience which is pretty good that they allow you to do that and this phone hasn't had any hiccups at all now I don't know if, if I've been having beginners luck or oh, I just heard somebody hold on I'm gonna blast them don't forget I got this enabled right I got this enabled hold it down oh yes oh somebody capping me all right so let me see what's up or trying to cap on me Ooh, I'm getting nervous so the first time I ever played this I got ranked 33 and then the next two times I played it I got first place both times so it could be beginner's luck it could be just me being familiar with uh, first person shooters or third person shooters playing Call of Duty back in the day but I'm trying to get to some action for y'all even though I heard somebody out here shooting oh Bang, bang. I don't know if y'all saw that. I got into it, so I might have moved my hands, but I want y'all to see the air triggers. <laughs> so, there goes that. Got a kill like that. I'm talking about, I'm having fun with this game, and I never thought I would, right? Because I tried to play some Fortnite, and it was whatever. But, uh, I'm talking about excellent graphics. Now, look at this. Uh game changer right damn, damn game changer I'm loving that but that's just to give you an idea what it's like I haven't had any frame rate issues any slowdowns any freezing any hiccups anything playing PUBG so like I said one of my favorite games is Hilltop <laughs> so I'm just gonna get into the game so y'all can see what the 120 Hertz look like even though you can't see it because I'm only recording 60 but just to show you and to describe it so here it is I don't use the air triggers on this game that's the beauty of it you can use it when you want to or when you don't want to use it now I played this on my iPhone and it's a big difference I'm gonna turn the volume up whoa I mean If you never played this game, it's super addicting, super fun. I mean, it's just non-stop, right? So let's go to the popular games. All these are 20 hertz, 120 hertz. Let me show you that real racing real quick. Real racing three. I like this one because I can use the air triggers for my brake and my gas. So it's pretty cool. So check this out. Of course, Game Genie again. And I customized it. So let me get into this. If you notice down here on the game gene it tells you 120 frames per second that's how I know this game is running at the frame rate that I want go ahead and get started I know everybody loves racing games and you will see here see where I have them enabled on the gas and on the brake here we go I like playing in the cockpit but I'm gonna switch it up for y'all there it is there it is I need to break Woo! Dope. I feel like I'm playing my 360 or whatever. And that sound. Buttery smooth. Buttery smooth. 
crazy graphics on a phone like this. Uh, I'm, I'm playing behind the camera. Don't forget it. Hit that bro. Oh! You get the idea. Another favorite, Alto's Adventure. Now this is just pick up and play and relax and enjoy. Now, I like this game because if you notice, the screen is not set up for this phone. And that's okay because there's some games like that. But you can get it to fit the screen. But the reason why I don't mind it is because this part of the screen can be functional as buttons. So while you're pressing it, you're not blocking the screen at all. So I kind of like it. And then sometimes when you fit it to the screen, it cuts off some of the top and the bottom, just like if you watch a YouTube video and you stretch it, right? So I kind of like it. Look, look, my finger's off screen and it's still working. Still working. 120 hertz beauty. Look at that, right there. 120 frames per second, right? Real-time info, phone's not getting hot. After playing PUBG twice, the phone did warm up after winning back to back, but that's hours. That's putting in hours, right? That's putting in time. So let me try to play this game so y'all can enjoy it. Uh, look at that. So smooth. You cannot appreciate how smooth it is from watching it on YouTube. This is a beautiful OLED screen. Oh my goodness. I'm having fun. I feel bad for my wife because you know she was talking to me. She's like, You playing that game again? That's the bad that's the bad part about getting a gaming phone and actually gaming on it. Oh, I ain't gonna make that done. Another popular game. Arena of Valor. Not 120 Hertz. Right? It's not 120 Hertz. But also I did the same thing. I wanted to keep this area clear because it was cutting off too much. So I'm gonna continue just where I left off just to show you guys how it is to play. Now this is a game that I haven't spent much time playing, but people love it and I did check it out and it's kind of fun, it's all right. You know what I mean? It's not my traditional kind of game that I like to play. I can play shooters, I can play sports games. And that's the one thing, I've been looking for a good sports game, but I haven't really found one. But um, I'm gonna keep looking. Now, I'm not very good at these kind of games, and it's super hard playing behind. I don't know my minions with. Here they come. Oh man, getting ugly. Getting ugly. But anyway, this game runs smoothly. Sounds great. <laughs> Even though it is running at only 30 frames per second. But you know, that's how it goes for this game. That's enough of this. This is brutal. I got Mr. Two Toys to come over and play some Fortnite because you know what? I don't know how to play this. So, I'm let him do his thing. People already shooting people? Yeah. How did somebody get a gun? Oh man, he know how to switch it like that. You already got a gun? Mm-hmm. You just picked it up? Yeah. How'd I miss that? Oh, he got a sniper. Okay. It's not really a sniper. Okay. See, that's why I don't know this game. It's... Does it feel natural to you? Kind of like the Switch or a little different? Um, it feels a little different, but they're kind of the same. They didn't hit me. The graphics are pretty good, don't they? Crash? Is somebody shooting you? No. How can you not shoot them? I'm trying to... Get them! I can't find anybody. Hey. There he is. Get him. Huh? How do we? Oh. Oh. Is he shooting at you? You shooting at him? Hey. Wait, are they teaming up? Wait. Wait, is this is duos? Oh, nice. Is this duos? I don't even know what the mode this is. <laughs> Just play. You killed somebody, right? No. 
Oh. Come here, boy. Come here. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. They're here. Oh, no. No, no, no. I need to jump. Oh. Was it too hard to play? Not really. How are the controls? I only have one gun. Um, oh. The controls are kind of easy. Kind of easy? What kind makes of? them easy? No, it's like easy and hard. You could get used to them. Thanks, Mr. Two Toys. So, just to run it down to give you guys an idea of what's been going on, if I show you guys the battery life, it's been pretty good for how much gaming I've been doing. So, if you look here, nine hours. Nine hours, 17 minutes of screen usage. Now, I don't really look at screen usage that much because I listen to music, I stream music, and sometimes the phone is running without it being on the screen. But since I've been playing, look at a hill climb race in two hours and nine minutes. PUBG, an hour 43. Opera browser, 51 minutes. Right? All these things is why this phone has been amazing because right now I'm at 32%. It's been a powerhouse. It's been a powerhouse. People say it's big and heavy. It's not too big. It is a little heavy, but it's been my main phone for a while, and it's all right now. It's doing pretty fine. One last thing. Here's an armory crate. Check that out. It has all the settings, everything you need to know, how much storage is being used, the GPU, how much RAM, right? X mode on. Look at that. Right? Look at that, the sensitivity of the air triggers, finger resting, if your fingers are just on there or not, fan speed control. Not that this enhances the game at all, but it's kind of cool to be playing. You can customize it to stay static on one color, or you can have it doing what I have it doing right now. Oh man, look at that illumination, RGB for life. Here's a little fan vent that does help. You know, the phone only got warm. And when I say warm, warm, not hot, hot. On one occasion when I was getting a lot of PUBG in, but it stayed pretty cool even with this TPU case on. But this phone is crazy. It's a gaming phone and we overuse the word beast, but this phone is truly a beast. So I'm having so much fun with this phone and I'm not a phone gamer at all but I'm telling you what you guys will love this phone if you love playing games even if you don't like playing games there's so many games out there that's so addicting which can be a good thing or a bad thing it's up to y'all hey don't forget Cobra told you man we out of here tech leads for the culture baby